My friends, we're on the intergalactic space station the sky base. <laughs> and we were able to use Artie to clear the climate control thing. Artie being the artificer, all of the kids from the Clockwork Castle have now joined us. And friends, in today's episode of Sea of Stars right here on Missile Dine Online, what's up? That's me. That's my channel. We are going to destroy the Dweller of Dread, if we can. And I'm pretty sure we can. So let's get started. We're gonna use the speed ball, get on our ship, go into the Sea of Stars entrance. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna bring this fight. We're gonna bring this fight to the Dweller of Dread. We should also make sure we have plenty of food here. Just, you know, just in case. We have enough, we'll be fine, let's go. So I don't think we use, where do we go? Oh, the underwater moon. Right, because of the sun, we've removed the clouds with the help of Artie. So now the sun is literally hitting the moon, which allows us an opportunity to take down this big Cthulhu dweller of dread type monster that the drone, oh, we're underwater. Hey, good thing we got that from the Dakari, huh? Is there anywhere else we can go here? I don't think so. I think this is all we can do is go the infinite abyss. Whoa, dude. Oh my god, this looks so cool. Oh, we can, oh, we can swim down. I feel like there's probably no items here. Whoa. I hope no one's thalassophobic. Careful. Mm -hmm. The dweller's here. I can feel it too. We've got your back. It will be an honor to assist you in a cleansing. Zale? Yeah, it's coming. Oh! Oh! All right, we got tentacles, which of course, don't forget, it's been a little while since we defeated a dweller. They're weak to our stuff. Let's go ahead and sunball. Ah, 900 damage. Moonerang, we're already taking down one tentacle. Why don't we keep it going? See ya, tentacle. Oh, whoa, that did a lot of damage. Holy smokes. All right. Oh, but Rashan's puppet, of course, can fight a dweller. Interesting. Let's go ahead and get a boost here and finish this. Yeah. Oh, there's more tentacles. All right, sunball this. Damage. All right, I think we send out another moon ring. Remember, we're building up our combo meter here and our ultimate to be able to take down this enemy. Can we use arcane moons here to destroy this tentacle? Let's go ahead and use it to raise that ultimate meter. Yeah, see ya. Oh! Oh my god, this looks amazing! Holy smokes! Alright, we have tentacles here as well. And of course, obviously... What do we... I think we want to dash strike here. Let's go ahead and dash strike these. Alright, that did a lot of damage. We're gonna moon ring here. We're not gonna be able to break this lock, but that should be okay, actually. Oh! Oh my god! I oh I forked up Dread Stare. Oh. Uh 
Hello? Oh, that's amazing. We're fighting each other? But are we actually? Woo! Oh, we don't get to keep the boost, though. Oh, that's... that's... well, darn. Alright, we're actually gonna use an item here. We're gonna use, um... Yeah, we're actually gonna use this on... you know what? Nah, we'll use this. Just everyone needs a little MP back, and then we'll arcane moons here. Do we want to? You know what? I think we should, actually. Let's do it. Oh, hey! Don't, don't take her! Alright, we could use our ultimate here. Uh, I think we should. Let's do it. Right? Yeah! Come on! Solon's Light Salvation! Definitely worth using Zale and Valir's specials on on these. Whoa, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Uh, we're gonna save Arcane Moon for inevitable stuff here. We're gonna go ahead and heal. Okay, that was a really cool attack, though. That was, like, a really, really cool attack. All right, we could Solstice Strike for some more MP back, but I don't think we really need to do that yet. Uh, we can Sunball. Yeah, let's Sunball, dude. 900 damage! See, I knew those tentacles would come back, dude. I knew it. Uh, we can Moonerang to get rid of the tentacle right away, maybe? Yeah, let's do it. I was like, maybe we should, uh, Lunar Shield, but, oh my gosh, I keep messing that up. Why, why do I keep doing that? And then we'll use him to Patricor again. I would like to use Bits instead of Rashan's puppet here, but... Still doing, I mean, it's not a lot of damage, but all right. Listen, don't mess this up this time, okay? There we go. We were able to take out both of those. And now we'll use, we do have Arcane Barrage. Oh, we don't need that. That doesn't do anything. Let's use bits, and then we can actually do some stuff with bits that we haven't actually really done yet. Blunt, arcane, and moon damage. Uh, arcane sun? Or do we wait for... Yeah, you know what? Let's do it. Yeah! 960 damage! Nice job, buddy. Nice job. All right, we're going to use our ultimate. Uh, well, actually, we can just break this, can't we? I don't know if it totally matters, but... Oh, we can't. She doesn't actually have enough. I think we... Uh, well, actually... I can do... I can use Pain Duar for free, right? Everybody in the party can use that for free. I think I just attack. And then she can use Moonerang. Let's use the boost and then Moonerang. Oh my god, I keep screwing up. I don't know why it's so hard. Like. Alright, so they did get a dread stare out. That's okay. Kind of a weird move, actually. Because it, it doesn't... It just allows you to build up your MP, and it doesn't do anything else. We're not going to use his ultimate, obviously, but we are going to use Arcane 
Uh, yeah, we're gonna use the Arcane Sun again. Nice! And then we'll use... Well, we used Zales before, so Valir, why don't we go ahead and let you... Let you use yours. Luana's Might Retribution. This is for the people of Sarai's Worlds. Oh my gosh, yeah. That did, that was awesome. Sunball to the face, let's go. Let's just defeat this thing. All right, we can actually use a, yeah, let's use this free one. And then we can use, well, it doesn't really, doesn't really matter. Actually, if we use skills, we should do that because if we use skills, it builds our combo faster. Like, does it do that much damage? Nah. Is it still cool as heck? Yeah. All right, dash strike so we can hit both of the tentacles. Not enough to kill, but that's okay. Then I think we, if we moon ring everything, I say that, but you know, I've been failing all of the moon rings on this boss. It's because of the, there it's different speeds. There we go. Let's go ahead and swap for Rashan's pup. Oh, can't do that. Well, we can actually. We'll use uh, this. And then he can use Petrakor. Building up our ultimates yet again. All right, what do I want to do here? So we can, we can actually use Solstice Strike here. Well, hang on, we need Sunball first. And then she can use Solstice Strike. Oh, why, why did that? Okay, no, we did get it. Okay, it was just like delayed or something. And then Arcane Moons. And then we have our ultimate back. So many ultimates. And we win. The Dweller of Dread has been defeated. Sarai's world, or what's left of it, has been saved. You did it. Ah, Valir, we just took down a dweller. No eclipse. This power. I didn't doubt for a moment that we could do it. Same. I feel so much stronger. The thing we did when Garl was hit by the curse, I, I feel like I can control it now. It's been growing within me too ever since. I think we're ready. The moon then? Together. Unbelievable. I could not have said it better myself. Holy shit. Ah! are gone too.
teamwork, nothing like it. With their true power unleashed, Zale and Valir can now fly on the world map. What? Move around with L and press X to lift off or land on clear surfaces. You can also explore previously inaccessible areas. When you feel ready, the Fleshmancer's castle awaits for the final confrontation! Holy <laughs> Are you kidding me? We're gods! This is the coolest thing I've ever seen! You Fletchmancer! Ah! Well, first things first. We could just... This is the coolest game I've ever... This game is dope! Alright, we're going back to Rapine. Well, y'all, I think the rest of this episode is going to be a whole freaking lot of a cleanup. Because we have a final confrontation. We have a final confrontation, y'all. Our queen's betrayal. Sarai almost saved us. Our Sarai almost sa Our queen's betrayal. Sarai almost saved us. Our queen's betrayal. Wait, that's new. What does that mean? The moon. Yeah. No, we we uh we lifted it up. What is there to even save? You know, honestly, I was kind of thinking the same thing, but it's okay. It's still a pretty it's still pretty odd. What do you, you looks Sarai? It's supposed to be impossible. It was supposed to be, but well, have you met us? We're Luana and Solon incarnate. Alright, we don't need the speedball. Why would we need fast travel? We can fork and fly, dude. Catalyst the pain. Now we have like the dwellers no the dweller is no more. Will the nightmares go away now? Probably not. No, you're the clouds. How? Party. What a joint effort, really. And this is Merchants. Yeah, we got everything we could from the merchant, right? Seeing if there's anything else. Is there anything in here? This guy? Uh, see, I don't have these, but that's okay for now. The nano injector we need, we just don't have a lot of money here. I'm sure we'll get more. What does this do? A cipher might do. Right, that's what we need the data strips for the cipher. I wonder if we have enough of those though now. Should I believe? Is it a trick of the mind? Hope? Soul curator. I remember now. Yeah, what is that though? The soul curator. I saw it. Please tell me I saw it. You saw it all right. Alright, check her house. So we have this here. Find more. Oh, we have to find more. Darn. Dweller of Dread eliminated. Odds increase significant. Yeah, Cedric. Doesn't look like there's anything else we can really get here. Is there anything in the inn now that they say? No. What about you, bud? S... S -dub. Okay, south, southwest, southeast, south. South, southwest, southeast, south. Oh, uh, right? This is really an expanse. Okay, well, let's go there real quick then. Oh. Well. Okay. All right, so what did we do? We went, we found an area. We went south. I think I went south, southwest, Southeast and then south again. And we got these. Didn't somebody say something? A question pack? A rainbow conch? A adamantite ore? Those don't sell for much. And an obsidian ingot. 
Nice, so they do actually give you a little thing in here. Let's go ahead and rest real quick. And then we will head out of here. Um, I wonder if it matters which one. Oh, this is the very beginning area that we came into, so I think we want to go this way. Yep. All right, we're done. That's everything we could do here. All right, so how do we... Oh, that's how we take flight! All right, so... I mean, we should be pretty good. What does this say? There's a treasure left in Throne of the Queen that was. In Rapine. Wait, what? I didn't see anything. They did say the Queen. All right, well, we do need to go to this solstice shrine for sure. Let's go, look at us! Oh my gosh, y'all. This is so cool. Well, let's start, let's start doing what, that, that explains it. So that means back in our world, we can also go, oh, hell yeah, dude. Here we are. All right, looks like right away we get stuff. Nice. Can we... Oh. Oh, do we have to be on this? Yep. Oh, no. Darn. Oh, I see what we're supposed to do there. Hang on. All right, and then we move that. There we go. The solstice shrine is, was turned into like a factory. Well, I mean, why wouldn't it be? Let's go, dude, let's go. Solstice shrine, what is this? Number three, I think? We've done all of the ones we can so far. Gotta get some lights going. Let's turn them on. Gotta turn them all on, especially if there's chests anywhere. All right, nothing over here. Really? Okay. Broken stairs. Something here. Oh, it does like a... Huh. Can we cross... Okay. Use this. Turn on more lights. Looks like we can't jump up there. We can flip this though. Oh, and it allows us to. I see. Alright, Solstice Shrine number three, Sarai's. The only one that it seems left on Sarai's world, actually. I wonder if, well, okay, so what is, is this, this is maybe where those pop up at? So if we do, we do, nope. So if we do this. Yes, okay, that does do that. See, I knew that, told you. Let me flip this one. We don't have a way to get over there just yet. At least I don't believe we do. Go this way. We just run across. And then do... Hmm. So if we... Okay, so wait a minute. We do this one here. Down. And then this one can go... This, and then, yeah, yeah, and then this way we can go. Oh, sweet. Oh, cool, we can hit that. Hell yeah. Pop this one. Which will lower that and allow us another. Okay, we can come down here and hit this one too. 
gives us a little bit more freedom here to be able to get all of the blocks across, I think. Can't do anything on this side, but that's okay. We don't need it. At least I don't think so. So we need... Okay, so we have these. We need these to go... Uh, one more? Maybe? Well, how do we do that? Hmm. Well, let's do... So if we do this, put these over here, right? And then that allows us to use the... We can now use this side. Oh, no, wait. Uh, climb up here. Okay, so it'll allow us to do this. This should give us access. Good. Okay, so we can go up here now to uh, the last... I think this is probably the last one we need then, yeah? Yeah! Oh, a third block! Okay, wait. Uh, no, that's... Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're Gucci. We're winning, we're winning. All right, and now... I have the three blocks, so I just need to make a line. Actually, I don't even need to do that. I can just do this, right? I think so. And then, uh, will that work? Yes, it will. Yes, it will. And we get a celestial ray. We're the best, dude. All right, two more Solstice Shrines remain. Until we can do that over in the Elder Mist area there. Uh, and what did we just get? Celestial Ray, plus five magic attack. Regular attacks regenerate plus one MP. Uh, oh, geez. I guess instead of... I guess we just use Celestial Ray. Who cares if they cost less of, like, basically you just get, we just get more back. Yeah, that sounds good. All right, that is Sarai's Worlds. I don't know its name. Solstice Shrine number three, done. Let's get out of here. Let's go ahead and set up a camp real quick, actually. Because we haven't done that yet. There are solstice shrines left. Maybe we should seek them out. Ooh, okay, maybe they're gonna... Well, Rashan's puppet's not... Oh, huh? Rashan's puppet points at something on the map. Oh. Great alchemist, are you trying to tell us something? But he's not here. Perhaps we should investigate the location. That's interesting. Zale, a word, if I may. Of course, what's up? Ever since the Great Alchemist granted me this form, I've been eager to prove myself a true warrior. For what it's worth, you've definitely been pulling your weight and then some. I appreciate the thought, brave monk, but I desire something more... official. Like what? During my time on your homeworld, I heard a rumor about a place where fighters engage in friendly competition. Dwellers fall arena and brisk. According to Yolanda, the townspeople built it to reclaim the big crater left by the Dweller of Strife. Sounds like it could be fun. Zale, I know we are pressed for time, but if there is any chance we could visit the arena in Brisk, I would be very grateful. All right, that's another that's another side quest that they're giving us. I don't think she's got any more stories just yet, but yeah. Sarai, do you have something? We're almost at the end. Is something troubling you? There's another potential threat to my people. One I'm not sure I can handle on my own. What is it? The queen that was. We've been mapping the Cerulean Expanse for a long time, but it feels like we'll never find her. If she gets the jump on Rapine. A gruesome thought indeed. Is there any lead we could follow? It's a long shot, but a probe brought this back from one of the search parties. Joss's belt buckle. I was hoping we could give it to Teeks and see what we can learn. If we have the time, of course. It's worth a shot, at least. Okay. The queen that was. 
I hope Teeks will have something for us to go on. And that's why somebody in Rapine mentioned... Hmm. And my friends, that's where we're going to end it for today's episode of Sea of Stars. Thank you so much for watching, and thank you for your patience while we took a little break from the series. Uh, but it's time to come back and finish it. So we have a whole bunch of side stuff coming up in the next episode. We're going to find out more about this queen and what threat she may pose, as well as something called the Artful Gambit. See you next time. Never give up. Never surrender.